Hey everyone, welcome to Sims World. Um, in this episode, we will be touching a little bit on the storyline of that's been going on through Sims Paradise and all the others this week. Um, so this would be the one that will end the storyline in Sims World and Sims. I don't. Uh, Sims World and Sims Teen Mom, but. <clears throat> The storyline will continue in Sims Paradise and Sims Out on Their Own. Because those are the two main storyline uh, series that they will be focused upon. In this episode, though, there will be a little bit of a tiblet like we did in Sims Teen Mom. So far, regarding the storyline, we've learned that Jack has ran away. We know why. There's a fire. Hold on. Where's... Who's on fire? Okay. Ambrose. Okay, quick, 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 quick. We have some neighbors here helping out with the fire as well. Anywho, now that the fire is taken care of, <coughs> as I was stating, we know Jack ran away. We know he ran away on the bus, and the reason why he ran away was because of the fact that they, he felt like nobody really wanted him anymore, um, and he was in a way kind of thing. Obviously, that's not the case, but in his eyes, he thought it was. So, in this episode, I said about doing a kava party, but also we learned that Jamie had found out that he ran away, and the bus stopped that he did at four different locations, and those locations are Granite Falls and, obviously, Windenburg, so far, that he knows um, we're going to see today if the, um, uh, someone could know, um, because there is a video out of the thing, and this woman here, La Loni, or whatever, she's like, I know that you and your family has been dealing with a lot, so I was actually doing some research about that bus schedule. She did, and she's going to tell us the other two locations. Well, she's going to tell Noah the other two locations now. She's like, I did some research on your um, cousin, and I know the bus schedule that he left on. I know this might sound weird, but it went to a place called Glimmerbrook, as well as... San Mai Shuno, and San Mai Shuno, I frequently go there, and I've never seen and or heard people talking about him, so I don't think he went there, honestly. Um, if I had to guess, because it's really hidden and off, like, the grid type of style, and, like, it's, it's really, really hard and a small little place to live, because I used to live there. And that is Glimmerbrook. So I really think you guys should go check that out. Um, so Noah is definitely going to go ahead and let Jamie and them know about what um, this woman said. I, I can't remember her name. What's her name? Lan Lanula. I'm probably pronouncing that way wrong. But anyways... What she said, and so he's going to go ahead and call the Jamester up and see <coughs> what um, he has to say. Or just let him know um, about it. He might even be able to call Nicole. Yeah, he, I think, who do you think would be better? Would it be Jamie or Nicole? Like, I think it would probably be better because Jamie's the investigator to call Jamie. So, he's calling Jamie and letting her, letting him know that this lady said that 
the other two places were Glimmerbrook and San Machino. She said she frequently goes to San Machino a lot. So, and she hasn't seen him around, and she's been asking, and they said that they don't even know who he is. So, she's thinking that it has to either be Granite Falls or Glimmerbrook, but she said that she really thinks it might be Glimmerbrook because it's kind of hidden. So, with that said, these guys are pretty much done with that part of the storyline now. They're not really a part of the storyline and neither is the teen mom gang. So the um, Paradise gang and the Out on Their Own gang will continue with the storyline. But the Sims par uh, the Sims World and the Sims teen mom will not. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on. It's actually kind of late here. What I was thinking about doing is throwing the Kava party tomorrow while um the lgbt pride day is going on um because i was kind of thinking maybe they noah and vincent can cut or not noah and vincent but noah and tagaloa could kind of invite people over and let them know look we are a same-sex couple but there's nothing wrong with that and we want to show people out there and i don't think the people around here really care but i thought it'd be kind of neat but anywho, so I'm going to go ahead and get these guys headed for bed, and I will be picking this up in the morning. Okay, so it is morning, and I've already set up the kava party. So we've got to make kava. I don't... Prepare kava. So I'm going to go ahead and have Noah do that. He has to socialize with his guest as well. His guest should be arriving here shortly. Um, his other guests that I've invited. Matter of fact, here they come now. We got Greta and a couple of the locals. In addition to that, we've got the lady that was here yesterday. Noah, why won't you make cover? Okay. Sabrina, can you make cover? No, you're not old enough. Okay. Somebody, can you make cover? That's kind of the whole point of the party. Maybe if I move this onto the table, they can do it then. There we go. So, these guys are... Well, Vincent's going to do the kava. Meanwhile, these guys are just socializing, getting to know each other really, really well. Um, look, Chad came, so we should definitely talk with him. Thanks for coming. Sorry guys, I'm just still getting over this sickness. So, I think that these guys would just be really And we even got some guests up here. Just relaxing and chilling. How's that kava coming? Is it finished? Oh, Sabrina is a bit occupied right now. Um, go ahead and go to school. Ambrose, go to school. We can't miss that. You don't have to miss that. This party's more so for adults anyways. Um, so it's... Poor made uh, kava, but why don't you go ahead and call everybody? I mean, th I mean, they're not really equipped with the culture quite yet, so I mean, I guess it's okay. okay. 
make a kava toast. How do you do that? With a cup of kava in here, select another sim and then make a friendly interaction. Okay. So, maybe Vincent would, I don't know, maybe Vincent would try something with Greta, like, just to do a friendly introduction to her, kind of introduce, introduce himself to her, um, and then maybe give her a little bit of a toast. <laughs> I think this is kind of just a neat little party. I mean, I never did it. I've never even really heard of it before, but I kind of thought we would do it just to see what it was all about. Um, Cavo Toast. So, I believe Cava is like an alcoholic beverage, maybe, because teens can't drink it in the game, so I'm assuming that's the case. Call or make a group meal. Um, invite guests to drink kava, so you have to drink some, make some more kava. Um, how about Noah? Why don't you make the kava this time? You can prepare the kava. And Vincent, why don't you go ahead and make a group meal? So we have to cook. How about... Um, I don't know. What, what could we do? Maybe some French toast just to do... Okay, we might want to do a grand meal since we got a big... Quite a few people here. Um, we'll do... Since it is kind of early, we'll do a grand breakfast. But it seems like these guys are really just having fun and getting along. So that's kind of, I guess, what the whole point of the game, of this uh, whole thing is. Baby is hungry, so, um, he also needs tendon too, so, um, Tagaloa, since you're already up here, could you go ahead and tend to the Bambino, please? Thank you. Okay, so, I don't think Tagaloa is really much of a party person, but I think Noah's, like, really like a person that likes to celebrate a lot of different things and I think he'd be really like wanting to celebrate the fact that he got some information and helped um, potentially find Jack down the line also just kind of um, chill and meet some new friends and just spend some time with um, some people 
So far, we actually have a gold party already, so that's good. Um, the literal, what does it say about it? It says, getting a literal taste of the island tradition by holding a, your own kava party. Use the special kava bowl to mix up your own batch and raise a toast to your friends, old or new. Disclaimer. Excessive consumption of kava may lead to a prolonged and extreme levels of relaxation. Extreme relaxation. Interesting. Okay, so, um, he is feeling a little bit relaxed because of, uh, things, but, so he's just going to go ahead and, um, come just pay the bills and all that and get that out of the way. What are you doing to the child? Okay, he's giving him applesauce and all that. And then we gotta feed the child. And then we gotta, um, bathe the child. <clears throat> um, so the, this party is about to end soon. Gotta, well, actually, it's ending now. Might as well just end it now because it's only got like five minutes left. But we got a good thing. We got a gold reward. What does it give us? Perfect Pava Party. It was so nice. We need to say it twice. Check out your new treasure, treasure in your household inventory. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and just to see what we got um, from doing the Kava Party because I've never. Did a kava party before, and then we got to start working on some of our Pride Day stuff because I think everybody kind of gets the gist now that these guys are in a same-sex couple. Okay, so we got the fingers of Solani. Um, some of this stuff is already probably new. Collectible plates. Do, 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 do. I don't understand what was new, really. Okay. Okay, so that's interesting. We just got some new stuff. That's cool. Um. Alright, so. Um. Let's go ahead and get some stuff on the go. So the only thing that he has to do is watch the romantic television. That's what Vinza has to do. So we'll get him doing that. Tagaloa. Okay, the baby is done, so you need to give him a bath. Give Kai a bath. I mean, I guess he did take part in it a little bit because he did have a cup of a kava. Um, meanwhile, we got like kava cups everywhere. So, could someone please go ahead and clean up a little bit? And we'll go ahead and put the kava back here we got some grand breakfast as well that people can eat <clears throat> so then we have to share a little bit of stories and romantic spirit with each other which I think is going to be perfecto for Tagaloa and them especially on this day I think Tagaloa's waiting on the baby to get down here. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, so... Noah... Are you still cleaning up after people? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up in just a little bit. Okay, I'm back. It's not much longer after that. I just mainly got helped Noah pick up um, some of the stuff. But, um... These guys are talking now. The baby did get a bath. Um, these guys are talking and just spending a little bit of time together since it is. Um, since it is um, LGBT Pride Day. Um, he's throwing... Go ahead and tell Tagaloa a funny story. That way you can finish what you have to do. Look, Sabrina, you already watched the TV. That's okay. So I don't know who you're going to have a romantic spirit with, but you can definitely tell your brother some stories. That's interesting. Tell him about your day. So I think notice that these guys have been really starting to hit it off a little bit better than they were a few weeks ago. Um... And I think that, um, deep down inside, I know Ambrose is still having a little bit of trouble with the fact that he can't do magic, but Sabrina can. And Sabrina is trying to get a hold of Makoa to see if Makoa can help him potentially figure out a way that he can, which Makoa said he can, but he never really said how. So she said she's going to potentially try to get a hold of Makoa and uh, work on that. But it seems as if these guys did pretty much everything they had to do for Pride Day besides watch a little bit of romantic television. So I might have them do that together. Maybe they can watch like um, some romance television together so watch channel romance and then tagaloa why don't you come over and watch the current channel <laughs> But I think that all this kind of, like, love and all that is really starting to get to uh, Vincent now. Because he did fall in love and Pepper did something that she shouldn't have done. And that resulted in her going to prison. But I think he's starting to have a little bit of a thing for Greta. But he doesn't know if she feels the same way. So we're going to kind of just like send chat texts here and there try to get their relationship up and then eventually he's going to ask her if those two could potentially try to get together and see where things go
Okay, but it is getting kind of late for the little kidderinos, so I should be sending them to bed. So, um, Sabrina, why don't you come get a shower, because you saying that you need a shower. Uh, Ambrose, you are putting Kai to bed. I guess, so that's okay. He's enraged due to a mood swing. Maybe he's still having a lot of issues with the uh, whole, uh, like, magic. Not being able to do magic. And if you guys are wondering, it's day 13 of summer. Sunny and warm and sunny. So it's pretty much always sunny in Solani, but still. Alright, Ambrose, you can head to bed then. Leilani and M are all going to head to bed. And I think we're going to go ahead and end it out here, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. And this episode, we got a little bit more in the Jack storyline. This will be the end of this Jack storyline for Sims World and Sims Teen Mom. But that Jack storyline will continue in Sims Paradise as well as Sims Out on Their Own. So, if you guys are excited about this storyline as much as I am... Those are the two series that it will continue in. Um, and as for this series, I think that we're going to go down the road of potentially getting Greta and Vincent to talk. Um, Tagaloa and Noah have a cute storyline and kind of like a rocky storyline coming up as well. Um, I'm not sure exactly which one I want to do first. But anyways, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.